Hope you're all still awake. Late Night Mega here. I ran into a random battle as I was trying to redo the stuff that I tried to do after that Gax Kang froze our game. Oh, hey, it's doing fire. That's rude. I was expecting, like, the gate to drop and get stuck back here by myself. Because that would also have been rude. I see I have a guy following me, but uh, I'd rather stab these archers first. Okay, do you want my attention now? I can have it. And there's still, there's still people alive over here. Uh, speaking of Gax Kang, though, I briefly mentioned last time, I'm not going to go after him again right away. I noticed Zagana wasn't doing much damage to him, so what I want to do is I want to get I want to get to the alienage, and I want to get this super special, awesome second best weapon knife that I've been hearing about for a long time. What I've never actually gotten before, because I've never been this far in the game. So what I'm going to do in this episode is we're going to advance the plot. And we're going to ignore Gax Kang, and we're going to come back and deal with his shenanigans later. And I guess this is where we exit. Yeah, see, random battle. Uh, so there's a couple of these I have to go to. Just to redo some things that we had already done. It'll only take like 30 seconds to talk to this hooded courier and get out of here. I'm not Did sure this... why these weren't active. Whatever. Uh, so what else... Did I do anything else off camera? I think I think by this point I finally did turn off Alistair's dispel magic thing because that was working against um, Wind's cleansing aura. All right, and I want to check this abandoned building just to see if okay, there's nothing appearing on here. Wanted to see if there was going to be a hooded courier there. Okay, the pearl. Is there anything at the pearl we need? I feel like the answer is no. Yeah, no, it, it doesn't look like there's anything here. Okay. Then we shall go to... Yeah, I'm going to do this. Oh, yeah, we have other side quests to do. Uh, so remember the money dropping and the other uh, the false witnesses. We have those two to do. And they pretty much want us going to the same location, so these two work out well together. Here's a false witness. They're from the guild. I know that's the one they hired. Stop them! Now, uh, see. Okay, this is just going to be a fight. And I'm off. It's not going to be much of a fight. There's only a few of them. Why aren't they already dead? Okay, so I guess false witnesses are just going to break out into a fight. That's fine. And there should be a a payment drop spot at the inn. The Spoiled Princess Inn. I like that name. I'm just checking the Mage's Collective here. Alright, and... Okay, so the drop spot is, like, right by the front door where everybody will walk by. Okay then. Just take that duster out of here. I don't want to look at it. Okay, I can't do anything else with you. That's fine. Okay. 
then where we have to go is, well, technically it's Orzammar. Uh, remember, one of the quests said Orzammar and one said just outside Orzammar. But I'm thinking, although I, I still haven't learned this trick about Orzammar yet, I should. I should know this by now. But uh, when they say that someone's going to be at Orzammar, they're not actually going to be at Orzammar, they're going to be at the Frostback Mountains. But it doesn't say Frostback Mountains. Um, but I should know this because Orzammar hasn't really been letting outsiders in, besides us. So I shouldn't be expecting humans and elves and false witnesses to just be wandering about in Orzammar. Even though I go and I check Orzammar, we're going to check the uh, Tapster's Tavern. Orzammar. Uh, at this point, I'm not going to go back to the Deep Roads yet and try out that thing with the uh, Legion armor. I'm not ready to try that yet. I'm not ready to just take that journey back there. That's a lot of walking, and if there's no action in there, it'll just be a lot of walking. All right, so we got... Yeah, now the other quest... Now, here's why it threw me off yet again. This isn't the first time this has happened in this playthrough. Is that the other quest said that they're hanging around outside of Orzammar. The other one said they're at Orzammar. So I think there's going to be some sort of meaningful difference between those phrases. Because then why would they have those different phrases? Why would they have those different phrases? So we're going to check around here. We're not going to find anything. Um... Uh, Long live King Harold. Thirty years of nothing changing. Okay, yeah, yeah. He's gonna keep the traditions. I was also reading that like if you made Balin King, that there would be some sort of shop that opens up because he increased trade between uh the surface and Orzammar and like allowed some sort of new passage or whatever which is kind of interesting uh for continuity and for like different playthroughs and that but yeah i totally didn't like the way balin was acting so we're gonna check in dust town and it doesn't seem like anything is being marked on the map. So there's... Okay, there's nothing here. Okay. And then I was thinking, well, hey, maybe it's up in the Diamond Quarter with the nobles. And then at this point I'm thinking, you know what? They're probably both at Frostback Mountains outside the gates to Orzammar. So I should check there. And that's ultimately what we're going to do. Because at this point, I just, I'd want to stop guessing at this. We still have the dead bones from all the uh, Balin supporters we fought in the streets here. It's hard to believe we have a... That's great. Like, nobody cleans those up. I haven't eaten in. Well, the game won't let me give you anything, so I feel bad that you haven't eaten in days, but I can't do anything about it. 
You know what, Sagana hasn't eaten in days either. Okay, why do I have this gather my party and venture forth on you? Yeah, we glitched the game. Of course we did. Yeah, see, both our side quests are here. I should have just started here. I knew I should have just started here. I'm like, oh no, one says it's going to be in Orzammar. It's about the guild, I swear. I didn't tell them anything. I just took the sovereigns. Okay. Now, let's see. Okay, so I guess we can't reason with you. I thought we were going to be able to try and reason with you, but I guess not. I think you make her very happy. And here's the dead drop spot. And with that, we've got one more spot over at uh, Red Cliff. Red Cliff Village, that is. So I'll go, we'll go to that. Yeah, walking out of Orzammar is kind of, I don't know, it's kind of a trek. Because you have to, because once you leave Orzammar, you, you don't, like, just immediately get back to the map. You have to go through the Frostback Mountains again. It kind of annoys me. All right, well, Red Cliff Village, here we come. And oh, let me guess, this is going to be Old Tegrin. Is it old? Yeah, it's old Tegrin. We don't need you. All right, Red Cliff Village. Now we got to find. The dead drop spot, which is actually going to be... Okay, it's going to be over there. Like, over by the general store. That's the waterfall. I, I got turned around here. Yeah, we got across the bridge. It's a bridge over troubled waters. You know what this place kind of reminds me of? The Red Cliff Village and, you know, starting out on the big cliff and having all this. It reminds me of that village from Final Fantasy VII. I don't remember the name. Well, maybe I do remember. Is it Cosmo Canyon? Is that the name of it? Uh, the village of uh, Red Thirteen's home. It's been a very, a very long time since I last played Final Fantasy VII. Not that you guys should be expecting me to play it on here or anything. It'll probably be one of the last Final Fantasies I get to, as far as Final Fantasies I would actually play on here. Oh, hey. Don't explode at me just because I'm trashing Final Fantasy VII. Well, that's rude. So apparently these dead drop payments are uh, meant to drop you dead. Okay, so the one thing exploded, and I guess we can go turn in the quest. Even though whoever was supposed to get the explosion didn't get it, obviously. We'll check these places here. We're here, why the not? Dark before dawn's uh, nothing there. Yeah, okay. I wonder if there's anything at the Chantry we could do. I'm not actually going there, I'm just thinking out loud.
All right, so I guess we're going to go to the castle because, well, we're going to do this lands meet thing, and I'm expecting this is going to take us back to Denerim anyways at some point. So when we get back to Denerim, then I can turn in these uh, quests with the Mages Collective. And this way is... Oh, we're going to drop a save. Because it's kind of been a little while since I last saved. Alright, and we just have to go talk to Arl Eamon. Oh, what are you guys doing? Hail Grey Warden. Okay, you're just... You're just there for decoration. Kind of like how those dead bones are still there for decoration. It must be Halloween. Or it could be Thanksgiving, you know, depending on your perspective on what's getting eaten. All right, Earl Eamon. I understand you've acquired all the allies you could. That's good. We can call the lands meet if you are ready. Yep, I would I'm prefer ready. not giving Logain time to consider, but it is up to you. I do not wish to go to Denerim unless you are with me. Yep, well, let's go. I shall make the arrangements. Let us be off to Denerim, and may the Maker watch over us. All right, so business is about to pick up. I have no idea what's going to happen here. I just know that I'm still sticking to the things I said much earlier in this playthrough, where I'm going to take any and all chance to try and kill Loghain, if that's an option. And I don't want to lose Denerim Alistair. is the heart and soul of Ferelden. It was the city of King Kalanhad, the birthplace of Andraste. As stubborn as a Mabari, and as good to have on your side. If we defeat Loghain here, the rest of the nation will follow us. Oh, so we're talking about defeating Loghain. By calling the lands meet, I've struck the first blow. The advantage for the moment is ours. He will have little choice but to show himself, to oppose us directly. He will strike back at us. The only question that remains is how soon. Oh, Logain's just marching right up to us. Logain, this is an honor that the Regent would find time to greet me personally. How could I not welcome a man so important as to call every lord in Ferelden away from his estates while a blight claws at our land? The blight is why I'm here. With Caelan dead, Ferelden must have a king to lead it against the Darkspawn. Ferelden has a strong leader. It's Queen. And I lead her armies. What? Aren't you, like, controlling the Queen? Uh, okay, what can we go with here? Ah, the Grey Warden recruit. I thought we might meet again. You have my sympathies on what happened to your order. It is unfortunate that they chose to turn against Ferelden. Oh, you're the one that turned. Okay, you're. I'm just going to throw this right back at you. You should curb your tongue. Oh, this no, I'm definitely not doing that. No safe place to speak treason for anyone. There is talk that your illness left you feeble, Eamon. Some worry that you may no longer be fit to advise Ferelden. Illness? Why not call your poison by its true name? No, he's going to throw it back at him, too. Not will cast aside their loyalties as easily as you and these sycophants. How long you've been gone from court, Eamon? Don't you recognize Rendon Howe, Arl of Amaranthine, and Terran of High Ever? And current Arl of Denerim. 
since Urian's unfortunate How? Isn't this Ossida. the same guy that attacked Hyever in the human noble storyline? And isn't how like the guy that we've been uh, kind of robbing with uh, Slim Cauldry? Don't interrupt, Churl. Your betters are talking. Oh, Enough. I will say Nothing. whatever I want. This is not the time or place. I had hoped to talk you down from this rash course, Eamon. Our people are frightened. Our king is dead. Our land is under siege. We must be united now if we are to endure this crisis. Your own sister, Queen Rowan, could probably be better united if you were dead. Restored. Would you see her work destroyed? You divide our nation and weaken our efforts against the Blight with your selfish ambitions to the throne. Uh, yeah, you're the one that divided if you want. No, you're the one that I divided. Was not talking to you. Oh, I don't care. I cannot forgive. Can I stab done, him okay? yet? Perhaps the Maker can, but not I. Our people deserve a king of the Theron bloodline. Alistair will be the one to lead us to victory in this blight. Oh, is that all I have to do? No pressure. The Emperor of Orlay also thought I could not bring him down. Expect no more mercy than I showed him. There is nothing I would not do for my homeland. Well, that was bracing. I didn't expect Loghain to show himself quite so soon. Huh. All right. Oh, I got an achievement for that. Calling the landsmate is only the start. Now we must ensure that every noble there sees Loghain's duplicity. We have no small task ahead of us. We need eyes and ears in the city. Loghain has been here for months. The roots of all his schemes must begin here. The sooner we find them, the better we can turn them to our advantage. Go have a look around and see what you can turn up. Better yet, find the nobles who have arrived for the landsmate. Test the waters. See how many will support us. When you're ready to talk strategy, come upstairs to my sitting room. We can lay out our plans for the landsmate then. Okay, now notice how he's kind of sending us out to do stuff. And so that's kind of what I'm going to do, is I'm going to go out and do stuff. I'm not actually going to read that quest. Or maybe I am reading the quest. What am I doing? Past gameplay me, what are you doing? I guess I am reading the quest. Okay. Oh, no, I'm not. I don't know what I'm doing. We are at Arl Eamon's estate. We have our party members here. So this is going to be like a camp site for us, I guess. Okay, let's have a peek around here. A book. I hope all the accommodations are here. No, you're not going to give us a quest, okay? To me. Oh, don't mind me, I'm just going to come in. Oh, hey, love letter. That might be all the love letters we need. Ah, now we have to pick people. I know I didn't explore the other half of that Arleman's estate. Don't worry, we'll get back to it. Yes. I want to do... Yes. I want to turn in side quests Indeed. in Denerim. That requires us to go to the market district. Uh, what else do we have? Yeah, I didn't expect that encounter with Loghain to go... I don't want to say as friendly as it was. As non-violent as what it was. I mean, I guess I shouldn't expect to just, you know, click a button with our Lehman and then suddenly we have a cutscene and we're fighting Loghain. Couldn't come that soon.
Uh, Wade's, what am I doing with Wade's Emporium? Do I just want to annoy these people? Oh yeah, they told us to go out and talk Hope to people. You enjoy your armor. Or I'll even did. Welcome. Oh, it's you. Please, Please leave. leave. And if you have any more scales, you can shove them. Yeah, <sighs> just leave. Okay, so I can't ever access your normal shop again. That's fine. Thanks for the help. Unfortunately, I have more headaches. All right. Um. It doesn't seem like anything else is really changing around here. Maybe I'll talk with Slim Cauldry and we can advance that side quest. I want to get to the alien edge. The alien edge is closed. Darn you. The alien edge is closed. Be on you. Yeah, I might frequently come back and check this every chance I can. Just because I want to get back to the alien edge. It's been so long. Oh yeah, the other false witness is supposed to be at the market just that's what I was looking for. And I figured, okay, it's probably up here because up here is like a whole open space. And I was right. I knew this was coming. Spent all the coin preparing. So I ain't dying over it. <laughs> then don't challenge me to a fight. For someone who's not dying over it, you sure died pretty quickly. Well, that settled that. And now we can turn in that side quest. And these were both side quests that we turn in at the tavern here, so we'll go ahead and do that. You're being very foolish. Why would Loghain leave half our own army to die when a blight threatens? I take him at his word. Oh, Battle that's... Not... You're... Not the person. What can I, I take Loghain at his word. Yay, quest to turn in. Oh, six gold. Quest updated. Level up. And we're going to dump these points into strength so we get him to the... Magical number of 42 strength. Or do I even want to get you here now? I mean, you have two more shield abilities that I just... I don't think we need them. But we've gotten this far without them. I guess I'll go for these passive abilities. I, I don't know what else to do. This might not be the optimal way to build him, but this is what I'm doing. What can I get you, stranger? All right, and oh, we do have another one. Harsh decisions. Oh, so you know who... Okay, this is D. And so apparently K... Okay, so apparently what we've been doing with this D and the K person is they're kind of, like, against each other, apparently. And we're caught in the middle, but we're helping D here. Okay, so accepting this, we're going to find K's, or K's lieutenants are going to find us. I'm thinking that means that some sort of random battle is going to open up either within the city, I'm expecting within the city as we travel about the city, or within uh, Ferelden. Because it says you'll run into him on your travels, so... Okay. But we will have to... Have anything else in here that I can do? No, we'll have to uh, run into him next time, and we'll check out uh, Slim Cauldry as well. So with that, I'll see you guys later.